Now a story you'll see only on 12. Three high school hockey players are accused of stealing from the locker room of a local ice rink. We've learned about the story from a local parent who helped police crack the case. And tonight, we dug deeper to learn more about these locker room larcenies. Eyewitness News reporter Marilyn Scherer joins us now live with the exclusive details. Police tell us a hockey mom did more than just cheer on her son during a hockey game. She helped to solve a theft ring that was stealing players' belongings while they were on the ice. Eyewitness News has learned the locker room at the Mount St. Charles Arena is where police say teenage thieves stole hockey players' wallets and electronics on two occasions this month. We were playing a game. With the help of a player's mom who spoke only with Eyewitness News and doesn't want her identity revealed, police arrested three Woonsocket High hockey players. When the boys came out of the third period, my son informed me that the locker room had been ransacked, money had been stolen, and his iPhone was stolen. Police confirmed the two thefts happened on December 9th during the Ponagansett Cumberland game and again on December 16th during a Moses Brown game. The break in the case came when the mother of one of the victims saw her son's cell phone posted on Craigslist and arranged to buy it with police at her side. The next day, my husband and I were on Craigslist. We found a posting in Winsocket for an iPhone, contacted the seller. We went to go see the phone, we got the police involved, and we ended up getting our phone back. It was our phone. The victim's mom tells Eyewitness News during hockey games all players need to be diligent, but she says police are pleased she helped solve the case. Uh, they thought we were crazy, but it didn't stop us. And then when it was all said and done, they congratulated us. They said we did a good job. For solving the crime. Yep, we got our phone back. <laughs> Now, we spoke with the athletic director at St. Charles Academy, and surprisingly, he said he knew nothing about the thefts. We uh, also made phone calls to the arena manager. He never returned our phone calls, but that victim's mom, who did not want to be identified, said the only way to prevent this from happening is making sure those locker room doors are locked. Reporting live with the Mobile Newsroom, Marilyn Shera, Eyewitness News.